it's time to make a change in how I produce videos for my channel. Now, considering how cheap 4K, good 4K cameras have gotten, I think one of the biggest differences between a good and a bad video is actually the audio quality. For today's little experiment, I will be testing three different microphones against each other. Now, these aren't new microphones, I've had all of them for quite some time, but they're still all in decent nick. So, the first one is the ever popular Rode VideoMic Pro, I believe. It's the one with the, with the battery in it. And the second one is a lav mic, also from Rode. I used this one in quite a few of my previous videos. And the third one is, I don't know if you can see it down here, the microphone that's actually included on the Zoom H1. Now I've got to be fair, the Zoom H1 does have a bit of an advantage. With the Zoom H1, it's just a single device I have to set up. There's no cables, there's no turning on um, multiple devices, so that will be taken into consideration. If the quality were a bit worse than any of the other microphones, I think I'd still go for that one, just for the ease of use. So, let's test these three microphones. Um, I'll be connecting the video mic and the LAM mic into the Zoom H1, mainly because my camera is just too far away to make it work. And I'll be reading the same couple of lines of text from one of my favorite books. Let me know in the comments if you recognize it. This is the Zoom H1. Space is big. You just won't believe how vastly, hugely, mind-bogglingly big it is. I mean, you may think it's a long way down the road to the chemists, but that's just peanuts to space. Space is big. You just won't believe how vastly, hugely, mind-bogglingly big it is. This is the Rode video mic, and it's placed about at the same distance as the Zoom H1 was. Space is big. You just won't believe how vastly, hugely, mind-bogglingly big it is. I mean, you may think it's a long way down the road to the chemists, but that's just peanuts to space. Space is big. You just won't believe how vastly, hugely, mind-bogglingly big it is. And for the third test, I'm using the Rode Lavalier mic. Space is big. You just won't believe how vastly, hugely, mind-bogglingly big it is. I mean, you may think it's a long way down the road to the chemists, but that's just peanuts to space. Space is big. You just won't believe how vastly, hugely, mind-bogglingly big it is. And I guess we'll find out which ones are the best ones I've edited this recording. Actually, just to make sure, I'm going to do one final test, and that is connecting the Rode video mic directly to my camera. So I'll get that done right now. Space is big. You just won't believe how vastly, hugely, mind-bogglingly big it is. I mean, you may think it's a long way down the road to the chemist, but that's just peanuts to space. And that wraps up the testing. I think it's pretty obvious from that last example. I'm not even gonna bother editing that audio clip any further. But I'm pleased to say it appears that the Zoom H1 on its own with no external microphone produces good enough video, at least for me. Just don't forget, I'm not an expert and I'm pretty sure I did something wrong when using the VideoMic Pro because audio from that thing should sound a lot better than it did. And I didn't like what the lab mic did to my voice, but overall I'm pleased that the Zoom H1 seems to run out from the collection I tested. And going forward, that's the microphone I'll be using for my videos. Anyway, that's enough from me today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you loved it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.